Hi, my name is Scott Lawrence. I'm going to show you how to export your uh, footage properly for formatted for the iPod. Um, this one gets a little confusing, so uh, this will hopefully help out a lot. Um, we have our uh, project here loaded into Compressor's Batch tool. Um, what I like to do is I start with the iPod video preset and select iPod video. Okay, so here we have a preset that almost is what we need. What we want to do is uh, create a new um, profile here that we can use elsewhere. Um, switch this over to MPEG-4. That's in the, the second tab here for the encoder. Um, video enabled, basic. We want 29.97 frames per second. Um, the rest of the stuff is okay. Um, we're going to want to crank the bitrate really high. We find that anywhere between 1500 and 2000 work really well. Um, anything lower than that, and you start to see the fields mixing with each other, which is not good. Um, uh, you can check here and see that this is wrong. We need to have, uh, once I can find it, here we are, frame size, 640 by 480. There we go, pixel aspect default. All of this is fine. Uh, we have to make sure that the uh, the cropping is, is set at zero. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's all we need to make sure of. Just make sure that the uh, ISMA profile is at zero, frame rate 29.97, and uh, that should do it. So here we are, MPEG-4, 640 by 480, frame rate 29, constant bit rate, round 2K. Let's do save as, and uh, let's put in a new name here, uh, iPod 4 3D, name it whatever else you want. You may want to take your content and try a different bitrate. Um, different bit rates will have different effects on your uh, on your content, so uh, try it out, see what works best for you. Um, there we go, and uh, as before, we can set the destination folder. There we go, and uh, just hit submit, and we are done.